So let's get started. So first of all, you can open your favorite browser and search for VS Code. And the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com. So we are going to just click on this link. And straight away, you will be able to see uh, these two downloads button. So what we need for Ubuntu is this .deb file. And then I'm going to just click on save and then click on OK, which is going to start the download of this .deb file. Now, once this file is downloaded, I'm going to minimize the browser and then I'm going to open the terminal by just pressing Ctrl Alt T. And then I'm going to navigate to the location where uh, this file is downloaded. So I'm going to just uh, CD to the downloads uh, folder and uh, then I'm going to list out all the files here. So you can see this .deb file is there for the Visual Studio Code. So in order to run this file, there are uh, two methods. If you want to do it graphically, then you can just uh, open your files and folders, go to downloads folder, and then right click on this file and then click on open with other application and then click on software install and then click on select, which is going to install this Visual Studio Code graphically. Otherwise, you have the second choice and that is via terminal. So for now, I'm going to use the terminal to install Visual Studio Code. So for that, you just need to write sudo dpkg and then hyphen i and the name of the file and then press enter and then give your Ubuntu's login password, which is going to start the installation of uh, Visual Studio Code on your Ubuntu operating system. So now you can see everything is done. Once uh, this command is finished, uh, you are ready to use Visual Studio Code. So first of all, let's see if a code icon is created on the applications folder. So just click on this show applications uh, button here. And here you will be able to see this icon, which is a Visual Studio Code icon. So you can just click on this icon and Visual Studio Code will be opened on your Ubuntu operating system. So using Visual Studio Code is really easy and straightforward. So let's say if you want to just open some folder, you can just click on file and open folder and navigate to the location where you want to uh, open this folder. So I will just click on the desktop for now and uh, here you can create some folders. So let's say I am going to just create a folder called uh, SRC for source. And then I'm going to just say OK, which is going to open this SRC folder inside Visual Studio Code, right? Now in order to create a new file, you can uh, just uh, click on this uh, new file option. Or if you want to create a folder, then click on the new folder option. So let's create a new file. Let's say I want to create a hello.py file, which is a Python file. So as soon as you create some file, it can be a Java file or a Python file or a C++ file. Visual Studio Code will give you some extension recommendations, right? So here you can see I have the recommendation for Python extension. These extension I can also find here. So when you click on this extension icon, you can find many useful extensions related to many uh, different languages. So you have the popular ones here, Python, C++, C Sharp. When you type here, let's say Java, then you will find all the uh, related extensions related to Java language or let's say I just press C++, you have all the options related to C++, right? So let's say I just um, want to print something in my uh, terminal. So I will just write uh, hello world. And then I'm going to just save this file by pressing Control S. And then if you want to run uh, this code, you don't need to open the Ubuntu's terminal. You can uh, open the terminal inside the Visual Studio Code by just clicking on Terminal and then click on New Terminal, which is going to uh, open this terminal in the same directory in which you are working in. So when I do ls, I can see this hello.py file. And then in order to run this uh, file, I just need to use Python 3 and then the name of the file, which is going to give me this output. It's also also possible to set up 
total Python environment in your Visual Studio Code editor, which is the topic for another video. But I just wanted to show you how you can uh, use Visual Studio Code. You have the debug options here and also you have the source control options. So if you want to uh, version control your code, you can uh, use this option here. And Visual Studio Code automatically recognizes if you are working under Git or any other version control system and it's going to give you appropriate uh, solutions or hints here. If you want to search anything, you can click on the search option here or you can press uh, Ctrl F to search inside the file in which you are working. Also, if you want to just see the folder view, then you can just click on the first option here. Okay, so let me just close this window and let me just close this terminal also. Now, if you want to just add uh, the Visual Studio Code icon or shortcut to this uh, left bar, then you can uh, open the Visual Studio Code from here and then you can just right click on the icon and then click on add to favorites which is going to permanently add this icon on the left hand bar here also i want to show you one little uh, trick so if you open a terminal and if you want to use uh, the terminal and let's say i will just navigate to my desktop folder where my src folder is there this one right so from the terminal, if I want to open the Visual Studio Code, I can just write code here and then press enter, which is going to open the terminal, right? Now, if I want to open the Visual Studio Code inside a particular directory, then I can just cd to that directory. So cd src, for example, and then I can just write code space dot, which is going to open the Visual Studio Code inside the same directory in which I have uh, given this command which is code space dot okay so if you want to open the code using terminal you can use these commands also so this is how you can download and install visual studio code on your ubuntu operating system